What's going on guys? My name is John. Welcome back to my channel. This is Absolute Rideshare where I cover topics from Uber, Lyft, Turo to Tackle, Rody, Amazon Flex, and a lot of other different on-demand gig economy apps. The one I'm covering today is actually a company called Snapper. And what Snapper is, is on-demand photography. So let's check it out. So unlike Rideshare, obviously, your main tool is going to be your gear, your equipment, and your experience um, to be able to get onto this platform. So Snapper actually provides a ton of different services. Those services are portrait photography, wedding, event, uh, real estate, food, and automotive. The primary focus that I work with on Snapper is actually doing automotive photography. I've been doing automotive photography for about a year and a half. Um, seriously. You know, I've taken pictures of cars before, but actually putting forth the effort to one, invest in equipment that's going to make images look sharp. Two, um, I've worked in the automotive industry for years and I really found that that is something coming into photography that I have a background with that I could already know what to look for and how to capture images and just make things stand out. I've done social media for a company and done tons of automotive related things, whether that's videos and also cars. So to get started on Snapper, you do have to have some form of experience, some form of portfolio to demonstrate that you are capable of doing it. Um, truthfully, that doesn't matter if it's paid or not, as long as you got work that shows that you're able to do it. In addition to that, having the proper equipment. Um, I shoot with a Sony a7R II. Um, I've got a 24 to 240, which is what's on my camera right now, and 85 millimeter. Um, save it up to get that 12 to 24 so I can get into more real estate photography and doing really sick rolling shots. If you're accustomed to on-demand apps, you're typically gonna get paid same day up to five times, maybe in two to three days if it's Rody or Amazon, or maybe within a week, um, just depending on what, what kind of app it is and the time frame. With Snapper, you're gonna get paid two times per month. Those are pre-scheduled dates. Um, which are the 1st and the 15th. So it kind of has a little bit of that feel of a job with the two week pay structure. Um, it comes in form of PayPal that gets directly deposited right to there. And then you can deposit that into your own business account, personal account, however you want to use it. Since Snapper is on demand, um, photography, you set up your availability so that they can book you just like that for times that work for you. I've had requests for 6 a.m. Uh, photography gigs, 6 p.m. photography gigs, 1 p.m. photography gigs. So each time of the day is gonna have different light or no light at all. So you need to work around that, especially if you're doing the photography and it's automotive, having some kind of strobe light, having a light like what's above me right now, lighting me, or just working with shadows during the daytime so that things don't look bad because the photography that I do with Snapper is for Bring a Trailer, and on Bring a Trailer, it is cars that are being sold that are that niche 1%. So if you got a car that's maybe, let's say, $30,000 and you put a lot of money into it and modified it, and you want to see if you can get 45 for it, Bring a Trailer is going to be that 1% of people that are going to be on there. So I need to make sure that I'm shooting the absolute crispest, clearest images and documenting everything possible so that this is a presentable professional product. One of the more difficult things I've found with Snapper is simply that it does take a long time to upload these raw files. My raw files are huge with this camera. I've never shot with truthfully anything lower quality than this. I got into photography because when I started doing rideshare because of Calvin Hill, the simple driver, he's a photographer and he inspired me to utilize photography and automotive photography to my advantage. So when people ask, what do I do when I'm a rideshare driver? I don't respond with a simple answer of where I might work at. I work on how I can upsell them on things that I can do to make money, not drive. The one argument I've seen against Snapper is the same argument that you would see against a taxi company and Uber and Lyft. Uh, people do say that Snapper is undercutting people drastically, taking away from other photographers' businesses because they found someone who will do it for less. 
which I cannot disagree with. They are finding people that absolutely will do it for less. Uh, me personally, I get a couple of bookings a week or a couple a month, and I'm very satisfied with it. For my two hour all inclusive shoots, when I do the photography, it's typically for bring a trailer, and that's gonna make me about 162 bucks to get the job done, make some crisp, clear images, and then upload them on the computer. So I really think Snapper is an awesome product for people who are wanting to fill in extra time, or if they're trying to get more experience to get to that next level. One thing that Snapper does is they make you ask to, the, to have the rights to the photography. So after everything's done, you need to ask for permission. You can't just upload it on your website if you have one or on social media. You need to get permission to do something like that. So the customer that you're taking pictures for is not necessarily your customer or your client. Um, they're Snapper's client and you are the independent contractor that is completing the task at hand. So 100% I would recommend it for people who want to get into photography, start getting some paid gigs, or people who want to add this to get more photography business, keep themselves busy, add more uh, work to their portfolio. I think it's a really great product and you should absolutely check it out. So this channel is anything from the rideshare economy to more on-demand economy apps like this one. I hope to be reviewing more companies that are on-demand in photography here soon. I hope to check you out on those videos. Don't subscribe to this channel if you don't like cool things like this. Until next time, guys, peace.